What's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review of the McFarlane Toys My Hero Academia. We have Midoriya here. Is, it, maybe I said that right, maybe I didn't. Midoriya. If I didn't say that right, don't even bother telling me in the comments below because more than likely I'm still not going to get it. So I'll have to hear it a few times. I'll have to watch the show and hear it to really know if I'm saying it right. Quick disclaimer though, this video is not for kids. This is intended for adult collectors only. So if you're under the age of 13, now's the time to get off my channel and come back when you're old enough. Alright, so McFarland Toys. Knocking shit out of the park with these things. I mean, <laughs> God, man. It's like, he took the anime, and yeah, it, it's, it says anime, but it also says McFarland. You know what I mean? Like, you could you can tell he put a little more depth into the anime in my opinion you know what i mean like i don't know you'll see i guess maybe you'll see what i'm talking about but this is a this is an absolutely astonishing looking figure right here i know i'm gonna love it already so um yeah about time i'm getting to all these mcfarland toys they are they, they need to be out of these packages man like a prison I'm keeping my toys in it's just not right so come on little fella join my collection on the shelves big surprise I like that we get them I'm not gonna complain I might make a fun of, make fun a little bit of how basic they are I won't cry about them. Oh, probably gonna take a break after I do this figure. The one thing that's always like the upside of McFarland stuff, you can't deny it either is the sculpts. I mean, he just makes you, he makes you want it whether you want it or not. Come on. Let's pop back in there hopefully. Yeah. Because I didn't want to lose the effects pieces because I kind of want to keep them on there. And they are removable. Little like lightning bolts, power effects. And uh, this guy is cool, man. I have a feeling, and he's little too, but I have a feeling that changing that faceplate on him is going to be a bit of a fucking struggle because. Really? So it's not even that. It's a head swap, a full on head swap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, go back on there. Damn, that don't seem right. That head does not feel like it's sunk on there right at all, but we'll see. Shit. I'm not thinking I'm getting the head on right here. Okay, here we go. So this is a more angry look to him. Tell you what, once you do that, man, you get loose joints on this guy, like, right away. That head is just flopping around, like, really? You see what I'm saying? That ain't fucking right. It's, it can't be popping on all the way. I guess that's a little bit better. I mean, I like that head sculpt. I like them both, really. But here, he actually, I mean, he looks like he ain't playing around. See, that's not going to stay on. Shit, to hell with it. 
hopefully this head will go on and yeah it's a little tighter so that does suck because I do like this head sculpt I really wanted to use it but it's fucking loose um, as far as the hands go I don't know. Maybe switch one of them out. Try to stand this guy straight up and see what happens. It's like everything I'm getting out of him is all angles. Oh shit. This ain't gonna be fun. It's work trying to get this shit lined up where you want it. That's work. Shit. I like it. The articulation is good, man, but it's work to try to find the right spot for it. Oh, especially these. They're just so stiff down here. Stood. There he is. <laughs> and he's pretty cool. Like, I mean, he's cool. His costume's pretty awesome. He's got the hood hanging in the back there. It's pretty tight. Pretty good sculpt on here, man. The mask and everything on there looks cool. His sculpt's pretty awesome. Uh, at least, at least this, he's like looking kind of straight on, so I can handle that. I like this, I like the shoes, the laces, that attention to detail down there is pretty amazing. So, uh, the hair color is awesome. Yeah, I like it. He's a winner. And this dude was, uh, he got sold out a lot. I remember that. Like, I, I got lucky. I, I think I got him right out of the gate. He was the first of the two figures that I bought, him and All Might. And uh, the other, the third one wasn't too hard for me to get. I just didn't get it right away. But then the third one was the hardest one to come by. But again, with this guy, I started seeing him less and less. And then not at all. So, uh, yeah, I like it. Damn, that head, though, that neck peg is, it's a bitch, man. Look at that. I mean, when, you, when you try to pose it around, man, it wants to, it's got a mind of its own. So, good luck with that is all I'm saying. It's the only downfall, really, is the neck on this thing, man. Otherwise, it's it's great that the, the extra head's cool. The different, the switchable hands, you know, fisted versus kind of like grasping, gripping, clasping hands, grasping. <laughs> um, yeah, I like this guy a lot. So why don't we go ahead and compare him to a few of the characters? Um, we'll get All Might out because he's the only other one I've done so far from this wave. I may scale pretty good together. He feels a little tall to me because he is supposed to be a kind of a little runt in the, the show and everything. But Or maybe All Might's just too small. I don't know. One of the two. But all in all, I can overlook that. Not a big deal. I still think they look really good together. So that's All Might there. Sticking with One Punch Man real fast. 
and that looks good. I think they look good together too. Especially if I put that other other head on here and it's more anime looking. And why not? Let's get him up next to Batman. Ooh. Cool looking. Not as impressive as the rest, but still equally cool looking. So yeah, I mean, my overall thoughts on this is I like it. I'll give it, you know, it definitely uh, is going to earn its ranks on my shelf. They're going to look fantastic once I get them all. And hopefully they keep making some of these so that we have more variations of characters. And yeah, uh, I'll keep collecting them. Yeah, I'm in on these. I'm sold. So... Way to go, McFarlane. Keep up the good work, man. You guys are doing good over there. All right, so if you guys like this video, let me know. Hopefully you guys like, comment, and share. And as always, I'm Master Marvel 80 here on YouTube. So you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace out.